Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Jake Hadley versus Cameron Smotherman. Smotherman, the babyface killer. Jake Hadley, 11 and 3, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 1 and 2 in his last three. Got a big win and a very pretty impressive one in a very short notice fight as well. Lost to Cody Durden in a fight that I thought was pretty fun, pretty exciting to watch. And then lost to Charles Johnson. Nothing really to hold your head down on that one at all. And then beat Colin Lockerin. And he made it look pretty easy. He looked awesome. 28 years old, 5'7", with a 70-inch reach. Supposed to fight Brady Heistad. He got hurt. Of course he did. Fights. Here comes Cameron Smotherman. 11-4, and 4-1 four, four in his last five fights. Lost his last... His last loss was a little over a year ago against Charlopoulos Garagori. Uh, in the Contender Series, won three since then, and 27 years old, 5'9", with a 69-inch reach. Now, I think this is pretty exciting. Very, very good boxer in Jake Hadley. We've seen some really good things from Cameron on the Dana, Dana White's Contender Series. Seven finishes out of his 11 wins. I guess that 0-1 in the, in the Contender Series was finished, but... He has some really good, you know, uh, grappling skills, even though he only has one submission. When just fought in July, April, November, uh, November 2023, and then he fought in April and July. So a split decision and a and a kind of choke in the third round. Again, I, I do think Jake Hadley definitely has a little bit more you know eight finishes out of his 11 wins he's a very very good boxer if you can mix everything together like grappling to striking to more grappling you're probably gonna have a decent chance of beating him i i just don't see him having the style of like durden and johnson and alan asimento i really really like white kong jake hadley to win this matchup and as always guys let me know who you're picking. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.